Ada, just give us a sense of like the, the mood in the camp at the moment. Obviously, stakes are pretty high right now, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, we spoke about it this week. We've got a few milestones as well, which um, we've spoke about. Um, players on the 300s and the 200s. Um, done a bit of a video this morning trying to spur us on, get us, get us up for game and try and work for each other that kind of way. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's all on these last three games. Obviously, we need to make a bit more of a bridge, um, get 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 another get another couple of points, and try and make ourselves safe. Because obviously, I think players play better when they're relaxed and happy rather than stressed and and worried. So there's a there's a fine line, isn't there, between keeping players focused and keeping players um, sort of relaxed. How have you sort of tried to help yourself in that in that department? Do you, do you go away and try and switch off, or has it kept you awake at night? Um, not suppose. Well, yeah, I try and switch off when I get away from from training and rugby. Um, but then again, it's always in the back of your mind, isn't it? Because I suppose Cass is a small town and everywhere you go, someone's talking about it, what's what's going to happen or whatever. But I suppose that just spurs me personally on to try and try and work that bit harder and try and get something out of it. It's as in your time there, it's as sticky as it's it's been. It's never quite been like this, has it? Is there anything you can draw on from the your past career? Um suppose it's it's hard to try and pick up. It's always a different environment. And when you look back over the years, it's hard to try and pinpoint what we're working well. But I suppose it's just about this group of players now and, and um, trying to come together um, and try and work hard and stick together and try and get something out of it. Can you put your finger on why it's not quite gone to, to plan this year? <laughs> not really, no. Um I suppose you know it's 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 one of them things you can't you can't you can't blame it on injuries you can't blame it on personnel coaches because we've had we've had a few so it's probably just been a different year. Um, I suppose it's gone straight from pre season. We've we've not done well all year, have we? So it's hard to put a finger on it. But I suppose all we can do is just try to keep rectifying it. And the pressure on Friday night is obviously going to be huge, given the fact you've got three games to go. It's your final home game. How significant a do you feel, do you feel this game against Hull actually is? Yeah, it's massive. It's probably it's game where they're closest to us in the table. It's one that we see that we can knock off, especially on, a, on at home as well with fans behind us. It's uh, it's definitely one that we need to um, be, be going after. I think you mentioned the milestones. I think they're probably in terms of the, the club milestones. Nathan Massey, if he plays, will make his three hundredth club appearance, won't he? Which is yeah. a huge huge achievement for anyone, isn't it? To to stick at a club for for so long what what's sort of take on Massey's contribution over the years uh, well we've spoke about this morning it's uh, it's obviously an important one for Massey's been here for such a long time um, and he's and he's that player that just gives gives everything um, his 1% efforts uh, all around park his, um, his job and role for team um, is, is second to none so we've just spoke on everyone, everyone trying to be a bit like him this week what what's your take on your own sort of contributions this year? You, you've sort of been in and out with injuries, haven't you? How frustrating as well as that been for you again? Yeah, that, that I had that calf injury didn't it? that get me out for quite quite a few weeks, which were um, frustrating. Like it always is, you just want to be playing, don't you? When it's when it's season time, not not sitting on sidelines. But um, we've had a string of games now now together, so um, try and just build on that and hopefully get better and better as, as, as in these last three games. You'll hope, obviously, to pick up more wins over the next three games. But you know, if the worst comes to the worst, and if you don't win again, and if Wakefield don't win again, that victory over Wakefield, including your hat trick, could be the the points that keep Castleford up. Uh, how do you look back on that now? The dust has settled. How do you look back on that that night in particular? Uh, well, obviously, it were a big win. Obviously, us and Wakefield all year has been been spoke about um, quite a bit, and we were even thinking that game um, down down at home and. Earlier part, yeah, that we we were speaking of that as or people were speaking it as saying it was six six point game, but they ended up picking up a couple of wins and then getting back even. So that that game, um, <laughs> a few weeks back against Wakefield were massive for us, and thankfully we got the two, and it just sits us just above them now with a bit of breathe, not say breathing breathing space, but we've got the advantage, haven't we? And uh, going into these last three games. Yeah, you'd rather be in your situation than theirs at the moment. Just a, a couple of last points from me. Have you found the the new head coach? Your third in space of what five months? Yeah, um, I've really enjoyed him and um, and and Dane as well coming in. I think they've both brought some um, some some impact on us and some new ideas that everyone's buying into. Um, so yeah, going forward, I'm 
it's uh, it's looking it's looking in good hands. And just lastly, for me, when we spoke to Blake Austin last year, he was saying obviously it's stressful for for players who don't know what they're doing next year. I think have you got an option for next year, and has that been activated yet? Um, there, there is an option. Um, I'm unsure what what's um, what whether it's been activated yet, but I'm sure it'll be decided in the next couple of weeks. Um, but at the minute, just just trying to get get this club safe and play these last few games and get the wins. So are you one of those players as well who's not quite sure what's happening yeah, next year? I think there's a few people in that boat, but um, that's that's obviously the stress of rugby league, isn't it? No one knows whether we go down, stay up, or or what's happening. So I think it's just put that to one side for a minute and try and try and get to end of the season and win. Well, from me, you mentioned a video right at the start of of all that. What was that about? The video. So watched the video this morning. Oh, they just put some with players that having the career. 300s they just put like a bit of um an highlight package together for him so masses 300 games just picking a few of his good bits out we all watched it a bit of a music on it just a bit of a feel good factor and and feel good for nath as well just for his 300 and a few, a few other lads is that something to to sort of help um g1 for for this week just just a bit more extra motivation yeah that's the idea behind it mate yeah um just a bit of a feel good factor get us ready for training show what it means to the player throughout his career and stuff like that. Yeah, I just wondered if, obviously, because you sort of came through the ranks at the club and born in the town mm-hmm. and everything, does that make you more aware of uh, what it means to the, ta- to the town that it retains a Super League club? I suppose it does, yeah. Uh, obviously, knowing people from in and around Castle are massive fans, as well as, as myself. I was a fan growing up at Cass and I know what it means, so... Um, you know, going out into games, you, you do carry that with you and try and try and play for that. So I suppose it, it helps as a player, but um, yeah, I do I do know what it means and in, inside and out. Can you sort of impart that um, that importance to the rest of the squad, the guys who've come over who maybe aren't aware? I mean, are, are they aware enough now, do you think, of, of, of what it means, just, just being around the town and listening to what people are saying? Yeah, I suppose. So everywhere you walk, you're getting, you're getting asked or questioned by big supporters asking what's going to happen but I mean, so it's hard to give give questions when you don't know yourself all you can do is just go out and try your best isn't it but um, I suppose it's like that at every club um, like for instance when I played at Old Car um, the, the fans what it means to them for the old derby and stuff obviously I didn't know going over there Aussies don't know coming into it but um, you, you, so, you soon find out when you're in and around changing rooms I suppose having experienced a grand final with the club yourself as well, you kind of know what is possible at a club like Cass. And I guess you've just got to believe that those days, are, you know, it's possible to return to those days sometime in the near future. Yeah, definitely. Anything's possible, isn't it? Uh, especially when you've got a fan base like Cass um, and, a, and, a, and a good group, knitted um, bunch of blokes that are willing to play for each other. And um, obviously you need you need talented people as well in there, but uh, it's a mixture of everything, isn't it, that... That, that creates them special moments. Um, you touched on um, the experiences you've had playing under Danny Ward so far. Obviously, he had a few um, honest comments in your team's performance following last weekend's clash. Um, I just want to ask you, how important is that accountability and that honesty uh, when a player has performed badly uh, in terms of your campaign going forward? Yeah, it's, it's very important, mate. As, as professionals, you tend to watch you get, you watch your game back and see where you've gone wrong, and it always hurts. It's sometimes uncomfortable watching them video sessions when you've not done so good, um, but it's about building on them. Um, and I think that's probably the only big blowout we've had this year, isn't it? Um, we've lost by 30 points. We've never really been up there in sixes, I don't think, which is very... Um, upsetting so to say uh, in that remark but hopefully we can use that spirit on and bounce back this week and, and try and rectify it and how much of the uh, onus has fallen on the leadership group to try and turn that uh, performance around ahead of this weekend well pretty much everything we're out there on field aren't we they can only tell us so much but um, I think uh, without making excuses I think we were pretty shot with injuries last week in Parker they didn't get much rest um, so uh, hopefully with that um that helping us this week, having a bit of a rotation and um, it, should, it should help us out a little bit. And missing a few players uh, this weekend through HIA and uh, other injuries and suspensions. Um, what's the message to the new boys coming into the team? Um, just uh, go out there, just try your hardest, work your socks off. Um, and, you know, it's going to be warm as well, isn't it? So uh, work for each other, 
share share how you work out and um and just basically put put your full effort in and trying to trying to keep your spot if you if you've not been in for the last couple of weeks it's a chance to prove yourself 